Hello everybody, my name is Ace Space. Welcome back to the Alpha Club missioning series. We're gonna finally get to L3 missions. We have been like, working our way to get L3 missions this whole time. Now we're gonna get there. We're so close, we're so close. You see a 2.92 standing. Just a couple of missions and we'll get there. I'm gonna continue to do missions right now. I won't stop until we get to L3 missions. Because that's the ultimate goal, getting those L3 missions. It'll be so cool to get there. I just wanna see how they'll be, how they'll perform. What will require to do them okay it's going to be a lot more difficult than uh, you know the l2s the l2s now ones they've been just so straightforward it's like nothing really had to it's the same fit i'm using for the l1s the l2s this cormorant destroyer right here they are definitely will need to upgrade to something else now i'm quite curious and quite fun to see because that's something i like in evil line i like to find fits to do stuff and sort of tweak it to be as efficient as possible and uh, that's something I really like to do Abyss as well, where I just find gila fits and try to find ones that work well and other kinds of fits that work really well and see what doesn't work. It's all fun experimenting with that kind of stuff. So we're going to do the same thing here with L3 missions. And there'll be an interesting balance between mobility and DPS because we want to have a very mobile ship to do the missions fast, but we also want to have a ship that does a lot of DPS to do the missions fast. So we'll see what we can come up with. We can come up with. We've previously discussed a Makara, also Drake. We will see, we'll see. In the meantime, cargo delivery, that's the case here. Silicate glass is what we need. Acquire these goods. Mm -hmm. So we need to destroy this warehouse right here. We've done this mission before. A very basic mission. I don't think we're going to get that much standing from this one. Cargo delivery. A destroyer, a military destroyer doing some cargo delivery. Seems very appropriate, especially in the New Eden way. It's such a cutthroat galaxy. Otherwise, you'd think that oh, you've got like a like a, like a military destroyer doing cargo delivery. A little bit weird. But when you've got pirate-ridden areas, people out there to get you in every corner of space, it makes a lot of sense. Mm, should we? No, okay, we shouldn't shoot this. We can just grab the loot that is in here, and we'll go to nearby then. Okay, there's a warehouse over here. Grab the silicate and go to Nyabainen. Oh, there, there's Corby guys. Get through it, I don't have to fight them. Blood Raid is not really optimal for our ship right here. Yeah. Do a lot of EM damage. We've got lower EM resistance our shields. But it's alright. Just peace out. <laughs> no problem. Oh, it's a long jump distance right there. 25 AU. Luckily, it doesn't feel that far because I'm not in a battleship. If I was in a battleship, oh, that's going to be horrible. You used to have uh, even longer warp times in the battleship, but they increased at one point. And the destroyer is not that far slow. I remember before we did the storyline mission to get a really great standing thing for the faction. It was really great. That one mission, 0 0.4. I hope we get more of them so we can just get the <laughs> the faction standing to get up real fast. It's of all a little bit of a case of RNG because. We previously got this mission right here as a storyline mission. I mean, if we were to get this one again, it would not be at all as quick to get to the, you know, the 3.0 standing required to get uh, the level 3 agents of VF faction standing. But if we get more missions like this, it'll be really great. It's all really to the left of the RNG. Stock up. It's just me. I think that the standing increases a bit more the further or the higher up your standing becomes. I think it might increase it by a percentage point. But just generally speaking, I feel like we're getting more standing for our corporation than we did in the beginning. Like when we were like 1.0 or something like that, I felt like I was getting less standing than I am now. Okay, soon there, soon there. Just one or two more missions. Oh, recon. Oh, perfect. We've got the mission, the L3 missions now. Recon is such an easy mission. You get so much standing from this. Let's go. Walk to location. This is one of the easiest missions you can do. And coincidentally, one of the most profitable missions as well you can do. Like, it's the easiest and most profitable. Like, it's rare you find those things together. Usually a very profitable mission is a very difficult mission. But a recon is very, very profitable for very little effort. We encountered this once before. And I was so surprised by how much standing we got for it. Walk to a location. And then jump to the next room. I guess if you're very ambitious, you could destroy the NPCs that you find here, salvage them and everything like the full clear style. I remember reading on the Evil Line forums 
there used to be a thing back in the day that people would do L four missions before other kind of content existed. So it used to be like L four missions were one of the like end game content you could do uh, for isk making at least in high sec. And I know people talked a lot about oh I loot the stuff and I salvage stuff. And it was a very common thing. I, I think it might be just more profitable back then because it's not at all really worth my time to salvage stuff. Sometimes it can be worth my time to loot stuff, but like people were really fully clearing everything. Right, they would have probably destroyed these NPCs right here. So I think it was a bit different back in the day. Stuff was worth a bit more. If any of you guys are I'm very veteran players, we did a lot more elf missions back in the day. Was it different? Was this full clear style of doing mission thing more popular back in the day? Because I just see a lot of a lot of threads I see on the Eve Online forums where they talk about mission profitability and that kind of stuff. And I see tons of them really old. Like we're talking maybe I don't know 2010, maybe something like that. And they're all saying that, oh, yeah, yeah, you get this kind of isk from doing missions. But then if you do uh, loot everything and salvage everything, then you get this much uh, isk power, which was a lot more. So it seems like it was a lot more profitable to just salvage stuff than not salvage stuff. But in my opinion, I think a salvage process is a really slow process and it just it's not really even worth it at all to do it. I may as well do more missions instead of wasting my time salvaging stuff, but... I don't know what you guys think. Maybe it's because people are using Marauders that are able to salvage stuff on the go so it doesn't waste any time. For me, it uses mental energy that will, in a way, reduce my time to do the missions. <laughs> Not really something I'm having to think about now doing the L2 missions in a Cormorant because we're just here for the standing, not here for the ISK. I mean, in the 1.0 system, we're not here for the ISK. We're just here for the standing because, I mean, you get so bad ISK in 1.0 systems. We want to get to that 0 0.5 system. But unfortunately, we will have to settle at 0 0.6 because there's no agents right now for this corporation in 0 0.5. Complete mission. Yes. Okay. So we've got 3.08. Perfect. 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 Oh. Let's see now. Where would the. We can try going back to Jeta now. And we can search for. Uh, so we can theorize for some fits. I'm thinking we could perhaps go with it in like a basic Drake fit, or maybe we could just go all, all out straight away with a Macarial. We'll see here, yeah, we'll see. L3 potential, this is one of the fits I was thinking about before, but this thing here seems a bit unnecessary. Power, the capacitor power relay, capacitor flux coil. Right, it hardly makes any difference at all. Probably could put something more useful here, like damage module for example. But we don't really have much CPU to spare. Uh, the the ship I was initially wanting to try is L3 Drake right here. So we'll probably try this fit right here. I think it is also really cool because uh, how it's really nicely fitted right here. You know, see the CPU and power grid all is very, very close to the max. So we're like sort of fully utilizing the potential of this ship. So I might try that out. You know, you know what we probably should do first? We should probably do the L3 missions in like a, a station or a system that's close to Jita first just so we can be a bit more acquainted with them and then when we're like more acquainted with them and think that okay now we're going to farm them properly then we go to a 0 0.6 system we can do that because the 0 0.6 system for this corporation is very very far away if we go here in the mission agents security agents uh, we can go any faction and actually we'll go for the Kaldari state business tribunal 0 0.6 is 12 jumps away so it's quite a few jumps away uh, it would be ideal if we were to have some better faction standing here. We'd go to Lydai Corporation in Yudama, I think. And that is not such a good place to be if you want to avoid getting ganked. But I don't think people are going to be too aware of the L3 mission runners. Maybe if I am going around in my carrier, so it could be something to think about. Okay, have I got a Drake right here? Because I think the, I did have a Drake. Drake 2022. I think I did use this for an event at one point. I might have refit it to no I did not refit it to the uh, mission fit that I had right here okay we're gonna refit this to this L3 Drake refit L3 Drake buy all how much is we have 37 million okay buy and fit it could be interesting to also go with a Drake Navy issue as well Drake Navy issue could be interesting because you'd have some I think it's good explosion radius there's a big difference yeah, because it gets explosion radius, so you would have very good application right here. Okay, um, why is the CPU not the same as this one right here? What's the difference? Oh, it's a it's a bay loading accelerator we've got right here. Aha, uh -huh, okay, okay. I see what's going on right here. 
So we had these Perja 2s right here. Bay loading accelerator. Oh, that's a bit annoying. But we can't fully uh, fit everything right here. Can we put another third rig right here? Is there anything that can fit the calibration? Let's see now. Is there a way to filter stuff based on remaining resources? By remaining resources, astronautics rigs only. Higgs anchor. I don't want that Higgs anchor. That's not good to have. It just makes the ship really slow. Nah. This core defense field patch is a very expensive rig though. So, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we could do like this. We're just going with this purge right here, more tankier style. And then if we think, feel like, okay, the tank is just ridiculously strong, then we can go in with uh, the bay loading accelerator. Because the whole point of the bay loading accelerator is just increase DPS. It's not like uh, it's going to make or break the ship, but maybe it could be good to go in initially with a little bit better tank. And then if the tank is too easy, then we go do something different. Okay, let's see now. Let's go to Jakanava because it's seven ju six jumps away. This one is five. It's hardly any difference. It's zero point seven. Better to go to zero point seven. Just don't get a bit more isk you get from there. Okay, we'll set a location right here. L three. Can go to this L three hub right here. L three hub. Actually, wait before we jump. Before we jump, we need to make sure we have to get our mission hub close to Jita. Because I many times go out in adventures and have the wrong supplies. So it's important to have the right supplies. Let's see now. So we've got the Scourge. Everything here, the Scourge. Okay. Scourge Raid, Javelin, Kaldari Navy. Good. We've got scripts as well. Good. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that looks good. Uh, the actual strategy here will be to use the the javelin at long range and the the rage at short range and Kaldari Navy when we have troubles tracking or applying range range what is range of dual range scripts 25 kilometers and with javelin it is 45 kilometers that's some decent range okay so that should be enough to hit most stuff uh, it is a bit annoying though that we've not got more range I'm quite curious, how much damage do we do with uh, rapid lights? Rapid light, rapid light. Rapid light missile launcher 2. We could actually fit a lot more stuff with this because it's very generous fitting with the rapid light missile launcher. Scourge Fury light missile. Uh, the DPS is really bad though, but uh, the 47 kilometer is quite nice to see, but it's not at all that great in terms of DPS. Okay, we're soon here, we're soon here. One jump out. I'm very curious how this is going to go. Are they going to be really annoying, these L3 missions, or are they going to be very smooth? Hmm. We've got decent speed with the Drake. Actually, one kilometer second is quite good. The tank is also decent, 69 HP per second with some okay resists. So it should be decent. It's just a bit... I feel like I'm going in a little bit blind because I don't know what L3 missions look like. So it might just be... Uh, uh, there'll be a lot of new things here I'll have to learn. So I've never done L3 missions before. Or at least, oh, well, I have done them before, but never properly. And the last time I did do them at all was... Uh, I can't, how long was it? Like five years ago or something like that. So a really long time ago. Jakanova. Okay, here's our level 3 mission agent. Break their will. Okay, you can see already here the loyalty points are up quite a bit. 700 loyalty points. We very rarely saw those kind of loyalty... We never saw those loyalty point numbers in L2 missions. I think this is probably an average mission. We'll see. I'm being in next door system 0.5. Find the repair station. Attack and destroy it. It may or may not be guarded. Okay. Break their will L3. And something oh i forgot now we should have brought them to you that could be good to have if we are going to go around uh grabbing loot because loot can be a very good increase in your isk power especially when you get those good uh meta modules break their will that's the garistas right here blitz destroy repair station warp power okay 
it's like here it would be very beneficial to have a very fast warping ship because a lot of time is now you know oh that is really long time spent warping actually wow this is actually not a good system to do missions in look how far away you have to warp oh yeah that's a really long time spent warping and plus we're in a lot slower ship than the cormorant before 3.5a okay it's not that big of a difference 3.5 versus 4.5a is uh quite a bit slower but i mean the isk is not looking that nice i mean we're in 0 0.7 system it can be better than 0 0.5 there's 0 0.6 and then 0 0.5 but i mean still 700 loyalty points is uh not so nice to see it's like very very low <laughs> this total rewards right here is just over a million isk i'd prefer to get like 50 million isk an hour that's the goal but we'd have to find a way, maybe with salvaging and loot gathering, that's something we can do. That's definitely something we could consider at least. And maybe there's a lot better missions, maybe this is just a bit worse of a mission. Okay, destroy the repair station. Is that it? Repair station. Let's go. I've got javelin. Can I hover? There we go break their will so we've got a bunch of cruisers right here now they could potentially drop good stuff they could drop good stuff oh no now we're ECM'd and that is a bit annoying right there having ECM <laughs> lock them up okay I can lock this guy up pith him annihilator but if we have an MTU, we could farm these guys. We should actually, we should really get an MTU. That's something we can do next time. Oh, that was a big uh, missile battery uh, volley right there. The range is needed right here. We get that extra range. Javelin is also good to have. What? Did you see that? He got repaired so hard. I think it's the repair station right there. Let's destroy that repair station. Stasis tower. We don't need to use the MWD now right anymore. We can align to Jack and Nerva. And then as soon as this thing is destroyed, go to the next system. Okay, it seems like they want to take their sweet time off and go with Rage. The repair station has quite a lot of HP, it seems. Give me the Rage Heavy Assault Missiles. A very intimidating name. Rage Heavy Assault Missiles. Yeah, look, he's got a pretty big structure, this repair station. So it's good that we had the Rage Heavy Assault Missiles. But the tank is holding, definitely. Definitely the tank is holding really well. Here, the only thing we would want, probably, is to have... Uh, more DPS really and I'm thinking that uh, since our, our missiles have pretty short range it might be an option to have uh, Webifier here. Webifiers give quite a bit of uh, extra application compared to these missile guidance computers but the thing is we've not got these computers really for application I mean we do if we need it but it's mainly for range actually we've got these these guidance computers so for that reason, I think it's better to have guys computers because we can always switch to better range if we need that. But I really think a Macario would do really well here because we would then be able to warp really fast. L3 potential, 6.5 AU per second, like double the speed almost of the Drake in terms of warp speed. Dock up right here. Yeah, look, all our capacity to drain from that massive warp we had to make right there. Hyperspatial Velocity Optimizer. Could be an option to actually find another L3 mission hub that has not got as big of a system because this is going to take a lot of extra time to warp around like this. I mean, we can have a faster warping ship, but having 100 AU system is an exceptionally large system. Right? It's exceptionally large. Not just like, oh, it's a bit big, but it's exceptionally large. So it really could be an option to go for a different system that has a bit of a smaller size because at least the missions that are in the main system of the mission hub system okay the, at least those will go a lot quicker and that's quite important because quite a few missions can encounter can be encountered in the system you're in 
exploration agents mission agents security agents so we got so we got one next door in Gekutami, so we could consider going there actually complete mission okay i'm curious what standing we got are they all oh, quite a bit more standing than the l2s but not like we care about not like we care about standing right now now we just care about is because that's the main thing we're going to have to keep an eye on concord Kaldari business tribunal okay Kaldari business tribunal is all we want to keep an eye on but okay drake doing the l3 missions we finally achieved l3 missions okay now it, the the goal of the series is now going to be a bit different now the current goal is going to change the current goal previously was to get to l3 missions now it is to do the l3 missions as quick as possible as quick as possible and as efficient as possible not just as quick as possible but also as profitable as possible by doing that we can go with an mtu better ship warp capable ship and a better system as well that is not as big we'll see uh, if we can optimize that a bit but that's something i want to see because i want to see if we can push the alpha core missioning to the limit so that people who are alpha cons can still do some missioning and earn somewhat okay amount of risk hopefully hopefully so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later